finance. I'll ask him up. What is a bear hug? All right, well, you remember old Uncle Larry, right? The uh, former 350-pound Olympic wrestler who could braid his own chest hair? <clears throat> yeah, kind of gross, but uh, no, that's the guy. Well, he got out of the bathtub once while y'all were uh, at your ski cabin in Wyoming, and a real bear saw him through the window and, well, simply put, fell in love. Yeah, that's how bears do it. Well, Larry went over to the bear family for Christmas, and when he walked in, the little bear dude guy screamed, Mom! Mom, there's a human in the cave. But Larry fit right in. He hugged each of the Bear Jamboree family really hard. They wanted to call it a human hug, but, uh, well, somehow the name didn't stick. So Uncle Larry is that guy. Well, he hugged at Christmas. Bears, humans, uh, whatever. He hugged hard. Hard enough to squeeze the air out of anyone or anything. And if he suddenly let go, well, you had a really hard time catching your breath. Well, that's the setting of a Wall Street bear hug. A big, hairy, powerful player, often recently bathed, ideally uh, not still in the bathtub, making a bid to buy a weaker competitor at a price substantially higher than the current market price of the target. It's a hug, and the target had better hug back and be acquired or else. Why? Because if the bear hugger suddenly lets go, well, the target falls back from the $28 a share the bear is offering to buy it, falls all the way back to the $15 it was trading at before all that, uh, you know, hugging started. And if the bear walks away and the company just languishes at $15 a share without any other bidders, ooh, the board gets their pants suit off by shareholders who were just, quote, robbed, unquote, of $13 a share in gains, likely meaning that the entire Higher company reboots. And in hindsight, well, that it would have been oh so much better to let Larry just move into the cave where, you know, he really felt at home with everyone there. Check out those salmon.